Hey, what's up YouTube? We're back here with another tip video. How you know you can get better at Madden 25. One of the most effective ways that you can do that is learning how to stop a corner route. A lot of y'all in my comment section, or even sometimes I see people in real life, they tell me, oh, all you do is call corner routes. You call the same play over and over again. They, they're referring to when I call flood every play from tight slots and throw a lot of corner routes. Well, I do that because a lot of people just don't know how to stop corner routes. And honestly, it's pretty difficult to do. It's probably the toughest route to stop in this game because you can run them in so many different variations, especially with custom stems now, you know, being in the game in both Madden and NCAA. I did this video um, about two months ago, maybe sometime in maybe I guess a month ago in August on NCAA talking about how you can stop corner outs in that game. And honestly, in this game, it is the exact same thing. So we're gonna be breaking it down. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the players play a little bit different here in this game because, you know, they have maybe a little bit lower zone or whatever. But as far as the cover shell, it's going to be the exact same thing. So we're going to talk about how you can use that to your advantage here in this video. But don't forget to below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications on. Check me out on TikTok for more short video tip clips. And let's jump right into it. All right. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to make sure you have the right package. This is totally dependent on having the right defensive package so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flick our right stick to the left until we get to the safety in B or the safety nickel back package it's kind of small um, on the screen but it's at the bottom safety in B I'll have an arrow or a circle or whatever kind of highlighting it but you're just flicking the right stick to the left or right until you get to the safety in B package and what this is gonna do it's gonna allow us to use these outside thirds so when we're running a cover two defense instead of running a tampa two we call it a tampa three so if we go ahead and call this play tampa two it doesn't really matter what play you know you call out of this you can now use these outside thirds in any of the plates in this formation but now when we go to call a tampa two and i'm gonna respot the ball you're now going to see something that looks like this right so what we're going to do the adjustment that we're going to make to stop these corner routes is we are going to double tap the Y button or and then we're gonna press actually three times we're gonna tap Y three times and now you can see this little defense coaching adjustments that we can make now we can put that defender in a outside third on the left so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna flick the left stick to the left right here and now you can see he's in an outside third to the left and then on the other side now I normally don't you know feel like you need to put this defender Chuck Clark right here in another outside zone you can really put him in a middle third and then put sauce Gardner in like a deep half or an outside third if you wanted to do that but mainly when you're playing against bunch formations the only time where I would recommend having outside thirds on on both sides is when you're playing it's tight formations where they can just run corner routes from both sides but here from like a bunch formation they're really only going to be calling these corner routes um from you know one side of the field so you're able to see the player they're going to go ahead and try to throw their corner out here to Baxton Barrios and boom we just have our safety right there Adams he's literally just jumping in he's standing right there just waiting for our corner out. that is really their primary responsibility you know when they're in a deep half I and mean, I'm going to go ahead show the difference between when you have a deep half on the field and when you have that outside third in the field when you have this deep half it's like I mean, excuse me when you have this outside third you can see where he goes as soon as the ball gets snapped he's basically trying to get as far out to the sideline as possible and much further out towards the sideline than he would you know if he was in a deep half if he was in a deep half which we're gonna see he's going to as soon as the ball snapped just drop back and try to you know not give up ground right here he's really just beating our corner out to the spot and then jumping right on it so you know that's very very effective so we're gonna go ahead and run it again and this time we're just gonna leave it as a deep half and we have this deep half on the field this time instead of our outside third and you're gonna be able to see you know as an offense boom now I can just easily just throw that corner out I can possession catch that and bring that in now that is kind of a tight window um, but still it was an easy interception it's and that's really the difference it is a tight window but it's still a throwable pass and when it's a throwable pass it's like you can you can honestly consistently make this throw you know in this game I would say these hook zones they don't quite play as great as they do in NCAA but so like the assistance that you're getting from this hook zone you know if this guy isn't here this is literally a wide open pass so yes you get some assistance but this is still an open pass and when we have those outside thirds in the field you know it's something that is absolutely blanketed 
What's up YouTube, before we jump back in this video, I need you guys to go hit me with a follow on social media, my TikTok and my Twitch, or BLT for Life 21, it's gonna be on the screen. And then my Instagram and my Twitter is BLT for Life 22. Go hit me with a follow over there, we'll definitely make a better college football and really Madden player. I upload tips on both of those on all my social media. So hit me with a follow over there and let's jump right back into the video. So what I'm gonna say now is if they now switch it up here and they're in a tight formation, right? So now that's exactly what I just said where now they can call corner routes from both sides. So now you have to, that's why no one really likes, no one really likes playing against bunch formations, but tight formations, they really just present a different challenge, you know, as far as playing defense. And the challenge is you have to, you have to defend corner routes because they can call them from both sides. That's the thing, you might, you know, put a 25 yard zone drop on one side, thinking that that's gonna do a good job of taking away the, the um, corner route. But then on the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and call a corner route and make that adjustment throughout the game. So what I mean is we have to find a way now to defend corner routes on both sides. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and put an outside third on this left side, and then we are going to, and then we're gonna do the same thing on this right side. So on the right side, we're gonna press Y twice, then we're gonna press A, and we're going to press the right stick over here to the right. And so now it's gonna look something, and luckily for us, it's just not showing up as you know the correct play art here. But this guy, he's gonna be in the same assignment as this defender on the other side. So he, so we have two outside thirds now, and, and I just love whoever invented practice mode, you know, that you made it to where a player just doesn't show up on some place. So that's really lovely for us, but you're gonna be able to see what's gonna happen. We have great defense for these corner outs here on both sides. We throw that and that safety number 26, although Sauce got the break up there, you can see that defender was in a really good position to, you know, break on this ball and make a play on it. So. You know, corner route absolutely blanketed, and then on the other side, you're just able to see like this guy is just sitting here waiting for these corner outs. Now, a lot of people, what they like to do is, I mean, they call corner routes on you know both the wide side and the short side, but against cover two, which is what we're in right now, you really want to be calling these corner outs to the wide side of the field to give those corner outs enough room to run over the top of the cloud flat. But then when they wait for it to get over the top of the cloud flat, it gives our outside third a much better opportunity to you know, get to the sideline and really just break on the ball. So you're able to see that's exactly what happens over here on this left side. And then, you know, our cloud flat gives this defender enough support uh, to really just, you know, make a great play on this ball and knock it away. Now we've talked about other ways to, you know, slow down corner routes here in this game, but in my opinion, this is the best one because switch stick really relies on your user's ability to make plays and switch stick is probably the riskiest, you know, tactic in the game on defense right now. It's really high risk, high reward. And then another way that I talked about was using match coverage, which is really another really high risk kind of mid-tier reward honestly like it's fine i really wouldn't use it a whole lot it's a good mix in uh, because you know you can catch people off guard using it but you can also give up huge plays down the field because your match defenders don't recognize the assignment but you know this wouldn't be a video on my channel if i didn't show you guys you know kind of what a good offensive player who understands this game and understands this defense, what they're gonna try to do to you. So what I mean by this is you're gonna call, you know, your outside thirds on both sides. And there we go, finally it shows up. So we have, you know, our outside thirds on both sides. And then, so you're able to see what's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna put CJ, CJ Mosley would most of the time be their user. So there'd be no reason to have a mid read. And you can kind of see what's gonna happen right here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna motion Tyree Kill out. We're gonna put him on a post. All right, so we have a, you know, different route combo here. We're gonna go ahead, you know, try to hold this uh, defender down and just create an easy little one play touchdown because you can see the player. The middle of the field is wide open. There's no middle safety. There's no middle. There's no middle zone. And so when we take the snap, we get time in the pocket. And I mean, we have B wide open down the field. I'm not gonna, you know, cut that out of the video. You know, sometimes they do get a lucky shatter too. I probably could have just stood tall in the pocket and just made that read. But anyway, you can just see the reaction that happens. This defender, he follows this guy towards the sideline. And this is what's supposed to happen. This defender also, these guys, these, these zones that they're in, they're intended to stop corner outs. And that's what we put on the field. But then, you know, good offensive players just gonna sneak 
the skinny post right down the field and you know have an easy little one play touchdown and i can't tell you guys how many times i ran this defense in madden 24 especially when the game first came out because defense is really tough in that game and this was one of the best ways to slow down a lot of offenses three man rush two outside thirds don't let them throw corner outs but when i wouldn't put a middle third or i, I would run this defense specifically a lot of people would do this to me where you just have a wide open route down the field so i'm going to give you guys the adjustment that i would make to that so we're going to, do, we're going to set it up the same way we're going to put y in the outside third then this sometimes the buttons do change depending on the offensive formation that you call so that's why you know you don't really want to make adjustments super fast in this defense you kind of want to look at your buttons because depending on what offensive formation they call your defensive you know adjustments are going to flip so this is what it's going to look like but this time we're going to put our slot corner ashton davis in a middle third so now we have a middle third defender that's going to you know help us a lot in you know taking away these routes down the field so we go ahead and go through it again we take the snap and you're just able to see boom ashton davis right there in the middle of the field in that middle third taking away any post route down the field and that's really the only thing that can beat you is if you don't have a middle third in the field and then you know they want to throw their post now if they want to this defense forces them to really just dink and dunk down the field take their drags take their hitches take their backside digs and if they don't do that there's they can't throw anything else they can't throw towards the sideline if you put you know five yard curl flats on the field and double mabel them completely they can't throw to the short sideline the deep sideline and they can't throw over the middle because you have a middle third and so you know that that defense is going to be very annoying for a lot of people to play against not a lot of people just want they don't want to play against a defense where they can't throw corner outs ever so you know this is something that can be very effective for you and you know we're going to talk about one more little adjustment that you can make to make this defense even better all right so ending this video off we're going to put our flats on 25 we're going to put our curl flats on five this is in the coaching adjustments and then you can really like i said you can really call any play in this formation i like tampa too so i'm going to go with that and you know as an offense now we can i mean it doesn't really matter what play they call either but so what we're going to do as a defense we're going to set it set it up the same way that i just talked about we're going to put y in an outside third lb here and another outside third put slot corner in a middle third and now we have 25 yard clap flats on the outside and then we're going to use our outside linebackers to help us you know take away this short flat so now it's a covered it's technically a covered two double maple but we really call we'll call this like a tampa three double maple because we have two outside thirds we have a middle third defender so it's really a cover three and then we but we also have you know a double maple here on both sides to where they can't throw short or deep on the sideline and so really the only thing that you have to worry about with your user is if they call like a play like speed dig where they're gonna have a deep dig running on the back side to like a b receiver right here so in this so you would have to you know have a good user pay attention to what routes are in the field with your user and then another thing is what really good offensive players are going to do is like i'm going to do right here they're going to take the snap they're going to cancel their drop back and now just look at that window that i can take off that's skylar thompson taking off and picking up you know a first down and that's what happens when you call a three-man rush a lot when you run when you only blitz 30 people in this game even if you blitz your user blitz your user will help but even when you blitz your user it's like the, if your defensive tackle, if your Quinton Williams guy right here, the guy that's the nose guard, if he doesn't win his block, these other two pass rushers are gonna get absolutely destroyed. And so the adjustment to that would be simply pull your quarterback in, I mean, excuse me, put that defensive tackle in a quarterback spot. So now you're only gonna be sending two people. Now, I would say that sending two people isn't really a viable defense every single play. Like you can't just, this isn't Madden 21 where you can just be spamming buttons and just blitz two people every play against gun punch. You can't do that anymore. Um, you know, you will get really just eaten alive on offense. Um, if you try to do this every play but what i will say is you mix this in on a third and you know maybe a third and long because third and long is kind of a weird situation where you don't want to give up a lot of yards 
and let them have like a fourth and short, but you also, the number one priority has to be not giving up the first down. And I would say that this is a pretty good defense on third and long because, you know, you pretty much have everything on the sideline blanket and you just have to have a good user. And then you're also not gonna give up a quarterback scramble here. So if they go take the snap, we still have our double Mabel and now they really can't take off with their quarterback. All you have to do is just user over the middle of the field with your user and then you're able to see that you know eventually those two pass rushers are going to shed when they're uh, pass rush rep and get after the quarterback and then also you know if you wanted to eventually send your quarterback spy you could certainly do that or just go get the quarterback with your user so you know that's something else that is really effective and really helpful because you know there's always going to be an adjustment to your adjustment from the offense so it's going to just be a it's really just a chess match adjusting to each other's adjustments throughout the game and this is a common one that you'll see where they just want to start taking off with their quarterback because they have no one open so how i would adjust to that is just putting a quarterback spot on the field all right that's going to do it for this video on how the secret adjustment or how you can stop corner routes here in madden 25 more effectively like i said in the intro very similar to what we talked about in ncaa or uh last month where you know we're just using these outside thirds from this safety nickelback package and then we're also making sure that we have that inside third now i wouldn't necessarily i don't even when i run this defense sometimes i don't put the inside third in the field every play because it's kind of a gamble you know i might want to blitz that guy or i might want to put that guy in a man coverage assignment so you know you get away with what you can get away with but just know if you don't ever put a middle third in the field you're gonna give up eventually a post down the field for an easy one play touchdown so that's the defense let me know if you guys enjoyed the video if you found it helpful let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future and yeah don't forget to check me out on tiktok for more helpful video tip clips and i'll see y'all soon with another video peace